Welcome Pisces to your chakra reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your chakras. Going straight out to the solar plexus chakra, talking about that intention, going six inches above the belly button. And this is where you're going to get that I can and really get that empowerment and that, that uh, intention going for what it is you truly, truly want. Um, let's see what's going on. Bringing those manifestations to life. Talking about the Mother Earth energy over here, talking about this Earth star uh, chakra which is anchoring off of the root chakra uh, which is talking about that vitality but really anchoring yourself to the earth for earth energy and this is going to keep you very grounded and very stable okay but it's also talking about the way that you're interacting with the earth and the way that you're really nurturing the situation and really feeling that nurturing when we're talking about mother earth the protectiveness right the honoring um, of the situation of self uh, with a joy and stability. Wow, love that, that. Talking about that intuition, open for the joy and the stability. Wow, you guys. Okay, so talking about I have the joy and the stability because I am very anchored to Mother Earth and I see what's going on around me. But I just need to pull those intentions, pull those intentions through so that I can have what I really need. And the next card coming out is Earth Star Activation, which is once again the Earth Star Chakra. So this is anchoring, grounding action, and this is, of course, Isis energy. Um, you know, and this is beautiful energy right here, guys. The Earth Star Chakra is gorgeous, and I love it with the Mother Earth card. It's very empowering for you, um, it, because this is definitely talking about how you're connecting the deep roots from the soul of where you're going visualizing your consciousness and conscious awareness of what it is you are truly looking for and manifesting. So having that fully acknowledged, right, gives you the better opportunity to discover the magic that can come through, discover the manifestations that is going there and not really, you know, just watch yourself rushing too fast. Do not rush ahead of the program, right? Make sure that you're moving with the flow, right? So Stay put for the time being. Important information is about to be revealed, so wait and stand strong. This is a time of integration and rest rather than pushing forward. Great wisdom lies within you. Dive deep and find it and trust yourself. You have more strength than you realize. And then we're talking about that strength. We're talking about that inner strength that you have, right? You can only imagine that you're using a lot of your sacral chakra as well for the desired intentions. Um, but I think that really with that is already really moving and motivated through the earth star chakra for you because um, it really feels like you already have your root chakra and your sacral chakra really forcefully going. You just really need to work on um, really getting these intention dense and just being able to really get intuitive about the situation. So loving it. Um, I can create my world as I choose. So and that's that's really what's going on, right? It's to create the world around you that you choose while you allow the world as others choose it to be to exist. But while their choices is no way hinder your choices, your attention to their choices does affect your vibration and therefore your point of attraction. So just make sure that you're not always going off of, you know, what someone else is trying to do. Right, because your choice is really what's most important at this time. And I think that that's why it's like, stay put, keep your roots here, right? <clears throat> and so you have the coffin over here, which is talking about letting go, right? Letting go of, hey, if they keep wanting to bring up, I just feel like they're bringing up negative things. You know, you can't have that. Don't tell me what I can have and what I can't have, okay? Because if it's really something that I truly can have, then I'll get it. If it's not written in my chart, then you're right. I won't get it. Maybe I'm not meant to win the lottery. Maybe I'm not meant to be a rock star. But if I keep it the way that I know that it's something that's simplistic, something that no is achievable, then I can have it. So do not allow others to dig their dig a grave within yourself, right? Trying to make choices for you because it's showing the sudden wealth. And you know... Wealth, it comes in many ways, you know? Hey, look, if you're not meant for that one person, you know, God's rejection is your protection. You see what I'm saying? 
you know what it is, right? You can't have everything, but, you know, don't tell me I can't have this and that. There are certain things in life that are so easily accomplished, yet it just takes a lot of hard work. Through all the hard work, once you look back at it later, you'll say, yeah, I worked my ass off for that. But you know what? It was easily accomplished because what? Because I told myself that I could keep the joy and the stability and that I could have such things. Reminds me of people going to college. Hmm. Positive faith and optimism. That's your card. Keep your faith and optimism alive. Do not allow others to force feed crap to you to where you feel like they're trying to stray you away from where you've planted your roots. So really planting those roots is going to keep you stabilized. So with the joy and stability, I feel there's already some happiness there. Yeah, because you already have the promises that you're keeping to yourself. Keep those promises. Keep your heart chakra open for the things that you want. We see the green circle over here. Your heart chakra saying, but there's hopes and promises for what I truly want. And I'm very compassionate and I know exactly where I'm going. Keep your compassion alive. That's what you want. Do not allow others to make choices for you where you feel like they're trying to feed your happiness. Why are they doing that anyways? What kind of jealousy? What kind of envy? What kind of crap is this? Is it because that they don't feel they can have that? They don't want you to have that? Well, you keep your swords to yourself. Right. Here it is. Block. And I do feel like they kind of put you in a challenge. Absolutely. Separating yourself from whatever platonic relationship, relationship you have with this person to keep your perception. When it's saying separate it, that just means separate from what they are trying to tell you. Do not allow them to tell you what you can have and what you can't have. Okay. Everybody's here on their own soul mission and we all have our own things. There are opportunities that are coming towards you. And I do feel like for some of you, there is somebody holding you back trying to tell you this stuff. And I do believe it's some kind of uh, air sign. Right? It could be some kind of Gemini that really does not want you to have whatever it is. Or it could be a Leo. I have Leo twice. So whatever the situation is, you're going to keep the inner strength for your sudden wealth. Wealth and happiness. Right? Money. Love. Joy. All of those things. Feeling complete. But it does show that you do have this offer coming through with the Knight of Cups. Could be a Scorpio or a Pisces coming through that says, you know what? I am going to show you what you have. So there's definitely some kind of proposal towards the happiness, towards what it is you're truly looking for, right? Yeah. But from now, all you're going to do is I, I just, you know, it's almost just like all I need you to do right now is just focus on what it is that you're truly, truly going for so that you can keep your chakras going. And this will give you way more, in, you know, opportunities and way more decisions that you can actually look for. You know, weighing your pros and cons are always a good thing, guys, right? Because then you can say, this is where I really want to be. This is the intention. How am I going to get there? Um, right? Because it's not something that I'm going after that, you know, is a... Uh, one out of a million chance, right? This is something that's pretty simplistic. It, like I said, it could be a lot of hard work, but it's not something that's not achievable, right? It's just trying to get myself to where it, I need to be. Okay. Very nice. Very nice, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.